This next part might hurt. Squeeze. You and I were, and still are, husband and wife. I love you, Henry. Henry, they want your technology. How do I fit you? You. I'm here to help you. Is your speech module installed? Well, at least we know you're not deaf. Okay, well, the good news is that you're gonna live a while. And the bad news is there's an army standing between you and your wife. So let's go get her. Hardcore Henry is a weird movie. It most certainly is not for everybody. But as somebody who grew up playing video games and has played my fair share of first-person shooters, I can safely say that this movie is for people like me, fans of FPS games who also love action movies. Growing up in the early 2000s meant I watched a lot of cable TV. But you know who else watches a lot of cable TV? Dads. So it's no surprise that channels would play movies that featured Sylvester Stallone or Bruce Willis, or Mel Gibson like the ones that got me into action movies in the first place, Lethal Weapon. But beyond cable TV, let's jump forward to 2015, when I watched a little music video by a Russian punk band, or ish, punk-ish, band, biting elbows for their song Bad Motherfucker, as well as The Stampede. As a music video, it served as proof of concept that paved the way for something bigger and better. That bigger and better thing being Hardcore Henry. When the movie came out, I did the unfortunately sensible thing and read the reviews, which I wish I didn't. 50% on Rotten Tomatoes and a 6.5 on IMDb is not really a good score, even if it did make a rather sizable return, making 14 mil worldwide against a 2 mil budget. But the damage was done. In my own mind, I labeled it a disappointment, without actually seeing the movie. But then... Something magical happened. I watched it. Tonight, I'm gonna have myself a real good time. I feel alive. I, I, I. Woo! This is war, baby! Oh. I'm a good time. A good time. I had such a good time watching Hardcore Henry. I decided to watch it twice coming from a movie I thought was going to disappoint. Right now, we are in an action movie renaissance, probably stemming from the rise in popularity of comic book movies over the last couple of years. And I think Hardcore Henry fits right in with its other contemporaries like John Wick, Atomic Blonde, and Mad Max. Talented people making creative action movies. And I'd like to add another name to the discussion, Ilya Nashuler. Ilya is the lead singer to The Biting Elbows, and directed his music videos as well as Hardcore Henry. They built specialized head rigs to house GoPros at the mouth level, because otherwise it would create a disconnect between the body and the camera. I'm glad Ilya took the risk to make his movie entirely in the first person view, because otherwise we never would have got shots like these. <laughs>
like a fucking nine year old. Go ahead and fuck him. Good. That was totally wicked! It's clear Hardcore Henry has a lot of similarities with video games, and that's all by design. Dual wielding, stealth sections, and even mini bosses are present. There is even a section with cyborg zombies. It's not just life that inspires art. Now, it's other art. We have so much media now that it would be impossible for aspects of one not to bleed into the others. Books, film, anime and cartoons, TV series, and of course video games. At the time of this recording, Hardcore Henry is available on Netflix. I genuinely want people to watch this movie because it is made with a level of passion and creativity that can only make a positive experience. What Hardcore Henry is to me is art. The art of spectacle.